hello welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to create your own tecla structures keyboard shortcuts remember using keyboard shortcuts can really really enhance your speed in modeling and uh, also productivity but before that uh, i want to place my roof ridge caps here and uh, let me just show you that just turn this round just turn this round I want, I want to finish up with this ridge cup I want to place my ridge cup here then we go straight to creating the shortcut uh, keyboard shortcuts your own keyboard shortcuts in tecla structures to make you uh, to speed up to help you speed up in modeling instead of jungling looking for commands you can only you can customize your own commands and uh, just press letters on keyboard and you move on now as usual i had already did it in autocad and uh, i'll just i'll just pull it inside my tecla structures and also i want to include it in my in my profile catalog in tecla structure i'll go straight away because i've already saved it and i did it the way i did it before make sure all the lines are closed for you, I mean prior to importing the the profile created in AutoCAD and you want to include it into your uh, profile catalog in Tecla structures and uh, we'll go straight away after clicking th this radio button under file then you, sc you scroll down to, ca to, to catalogs right there and I'll come right here under profiles then I'll go straight to define cross-section using DWG you can follow this on, on the on our last uh, tutorial uploaded on uh, this channel now once you click on that it goes straight to go straight to to parameters on other parameters and uh, I'll go to input file input file this this is the radio button that will help us for uh, for follow our file where it has been saved it will th this is the root way that will he will help us reach our uh, file location now the moment i click this radio button here i'll click on uh, on that then uh, it will open up uh, i saved it on my desktop for easy access i'll click on that then uh, i'll go straight away to i'll scroll prior to giving it an okay I'll, I'll first of all click pick the file i want to to pick as my profile remember this was done in autocad i did it in autocad as I did the one I presented on on, uh, on this channel, the last video that I, uh, I uploaded, you can actually check that. Now let me just sc uh, scroll down. I named it Roof Ridge Cup. Let me just scroll down. Roof Ridge Cup. This is the file containing my profile. Uh, uh, a profile for Ridge Cup. I want to include this in my Tecla structures profile catalog i'll click on that then after doing that i'll come to section here and i'll just type right away i'll press i want to make it that roof ridge cup roof ridge cup ridge cup i just can i can just leave it at that roof roof ridge and i'll want to maintain uniformity here I'll click on that and it'll paste it right there once I've done that we'll just do the same thing that we did previously now I'll go straight away and click apply and uh, click OK now I want to place it here I'll press control so that I can have a clear view of where I'm heading to now I'll click right here I'll click right here and move I'll go back once again. I'll come back here and uh, come to do catalogs and uh, come to profile right there and come there. Then I'll go straight and snap right here. Then I'll move all the way to this end. Right there. And we'll wait for it to load.
there we are i'll click interrupt just to exit from this i'll click ok because we are now done with this now what i'm going to do i'll double click on this I'll, let me close this i'll click on this then come to move I'll, p I'll, p I'll pick it from this spot here from that spot then move it all the way to this location i marked here i'll place it right there right there on that spot perfect i'll right click and click interrupt just to wind up that command and this is our reach cap and also we can populate this along our 50 our, uh, along our 60 meter length to do that make sure your xyz axis is, is facing the in the you know i mean on the right direction now just go ahead and click on that right click and come to special copy click, click linear and uh, we want we will just include this dimension 27 91.51 and we want 121 of this and i'll go ahead and click copy there we are and click okay then if i press ctrl p you'll be able to see our reach caps are here now this is our reach cap now i'll switch back to my to my isometric view and uh, we, we, i can turn this now if you go away to the end of our 60 meters you'll find that uh, uh, reach cap has exceeded the length we preferred now we can shorten this by clicking on it then click on this end and drag this like this to somewhere there make sure your line is straight we can leave it right there well, we've shortened that then press control and turn this like this you, I can change my view to that elevation K and you can also see how our reach cup has been aligned on top right here perfectly well now this is our reach cup let me just switch back to my isometric view and uh, I'll turn this round like this so that you can see it clearly turn this like that Think that's enough and I'll, well i'll take you straight to creating the shortcuts and remember don't forget to save your work because you never know with with power issues you can you go off any moment now to create the shortcuts I, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be creating my own shortcuts for template editor view properties insert pdf import dwg and uh, fit work area to to entire model now i'll come right here click on that file radio button then i'll come to i'll come to settings right there then once you've clicked settings come straight to keyboards here now we are creating our own shortcut our own keyboard shortcuts in tecla structure so that we can we can speed up our modeling process now first we want to create the template editor shortcut now we'll scroll down under this remember we have two options here we have um, shortcuts for drawing and shortcuts for mo for modeling but i'll just make one it works for both now i'll click on modeling then i want i want i want first of all to create a template editor shortcut i'll just scroll down or just press here t Press T is not coming. Let me just scroll down. I'll target my template, uh, template editor. I just scroll down. I scroll it down somewhere here. Template editor. I have template editor here. It doesn't. If you take a look here, it doesn't have any 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 keyboard shortcuts. So we'll, we'll force you to just go straight to menu bar and look for uh, uh, that command for template editor. Now we want to create our own so that 
when you feel like uh, doing something with template editor just press that single letter on your keyboard and that dialog pro dialog box properties will come up and you'll be able to adjust anything you want uh, under template editor now we want to give it a letter we will give it a letter t here remember we'll give it a capital so make everything caps now i've pressed t so that when I, whenever i press t on my keyboard that one will be template editor when i'm in uh, um, i'm doing modeling now I'll go ahead straight away and, and assign this to template editor here i'll click assign then i'll just minimize because i'll still be going uh, coming back and creating some I'll, I'll minimize that so now if i press t on my keyboard like that you, you'll be able to see that you'll be able to see the template dial template editor dialog box like that i've created now you can go straight away and start working on that i'll close that then uh, i'll come back to the same same spot you can also click uh, to any uh, macro just next to it and then come back to it again and uh, restore it to its initial state because you've you've used it for now and we don't want to remain there permanently now the next is uh, view properties v properties normally we come here and double click on empty on empty screen so that we can have view properties but this one some people might not find it very convenient they prefer uh, using a keyboard shortcuts now if i come to under view properties here view properties here you see there's no any keyboard shortcut assigned to it i can assign it here the moment you click on it then come and click enter the shortcut i'll click on that then i want to give it a letter e for a shortcut for view properties then i'll come here and I click assign then i just minimize this then the moment i come here and press e on my keyboard like that the view properties will come up and i'll be able to now change maybe change the property view and uh, click that you'll see everything changing to what i want and that's how it works out and uh, I'll, I'll i'll do three more so that you can see this and apply it on your own now i'll, I'll just go back where i was double click on the screen or press just spray or just press e then then i'll then i'll change this view to auto i'll press modify and accept that then I'll, i want to have my previous view i'll press control to uh, for me to access the the previous point now the next one is uh, if you want to insert a pdf and uh, you don't know how to how to get it please just follow the same process and create your own uh, your own keyboard shortcut for a certain pdf now i'll go straight here back once again and click on that then uh, i'll target e i mean uh, i i want insert insert right there insert pdf document or insert pdf i mean insert pdf right there i'll assign it a letter d i'll assign it a letter d here and click assign then i'll, I'll click assign there's a letter d insert pdf document I just click yes because we'll uh, restore it back to, to its uh, initial status i'll minimize that so whenever i come and press d here uh, that dialog box for importing the pdf will uh, actually come up and i'll be able to do my job conveniently now once that has come you can now straight go straight and click browse and import your pdf document wherever, wherever it has been saved remember the scale should be may remain one to one because Tecla normally works in metrics and I'll close that I'll go ahead and create uh, one I'll come back here again and uh, remember I want to restore this because I, I don't intend to use I, I, uh, um, this for sharing the knowledge and uh, I don't want that permanency in uh, in this 
because we use it uh, several people so i don't want to, uh, also to confuse another user who will be using my, uh, my my system or my computer now i'll come back to import then i'll, I'll restore that now i'll go to insert dwg i'll come to insert dwg i'll come back to insert or import i want to import dwg dwg right here I need a shortcut now I'll just uh, I'll select on it then come to enter enter shortcuts I'll give it a letter I'll give a letter M a letter M I'll clear that I'll go back to it and I want to give it letter M then I go ahead and assign it then I'll minimize this then whenever I press letter M I'll have this import DWG the stroke dxf file i'll just go straight and hit straight here and browse and access my dwg file i'll close that and uh, close this now i think that is enough and i uh, think you've mastered the process and uh, i'll restore that and i'll close this for now and for today we'll stop there because my intent will just to clear to place my my reach cup just to show you how to do that by doing it by actually creating this in AutoCAD then import it into Tecla structure right inside your profile catalog let me just confirm whether it is included in my profile catalog in Tecla structures double click on that on the on the on the profile itself and follow it right there so the moment you click it these steel beam properties Will come up you, you can see that we named it roof ridge and then we click on that read button right there then uh, we go straight to others and uh, a profile catalog dialog box in technical structures let me just scroll down still loading we'll just scroll down you can see it here and others you come to others right here then now uh, you come to roof roof ridge this is the the profile this is the profile and this is uh, these are the measurements the width and the height there it is now it is my system permanently i'll go straight away and close this because i've shown you i've showed you how to do that and uh, we'll wind up right there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel and uh, if you have a problem just place a uh, comment down there uh, down there I'll, I'll respond back to you and bye bye i'm morris dimba once again let's meet on the next presentation bye bye and thank you